Hello YouTube, welcome to Answering ATPL. In this channel, we will share the method and technique to answer ASA ATPL question. Please subscribe to my channel. Today, we will look into general navigation subject on the topic of wind triangle. In order to answer this type of question, you need to understand a few concepts that is track and ground speed, heading and through airspeed, wind velocity, drift, wind correction angle, and wind component. Let imagine that you are at the bank of the river where the water is calm and no current. If you point your boat toward point B and row, you will end up at point B. Now let's imagine that the same river is flowing from left to right. If you row your boat to at point B, where do you think you will end up? Correct, you will end up to the right side of B. In other words, you are drifted to the right. How can we row in order to end up at point B? We need to rotate our rubber boat to the left in order to compensate for the drift generated by the water current. The route where we travel, which is highlighted in yellow, is known as track. And the direction where we point our boat is known as heading. Aircraft will have similar problem with the boat when it is flying. This is due to the effect of wind. Let's dive into the theory associated with wind triangle, also known as triangle of velocity. You need to fly from point A to point B. The direction from A to B is known as track. To draw wind triangle, we need to turn this line into vector. The length of the line is not the distance from A to B. Instead, it is ground speed. I will explain about the ground speed in a moment later. The convention of drawing track is two chevron marks in the middle of the line. For this example, we assume that there is wind coming from the northwest direction. The convention of drawing wind is three chevron in the middle of the line. W slash V mean wind velocity. It is usually written as three digit number followed by a slash and two digit number. For example, 300 slash 20 means wind blowing from heading 300 at a speed of 30 knots. As our boat example, in order to arrive at B, we need to compensate for the wind. We need to point our aircraft to the left, but how much? The answer is, we need to join the triangle and we get our heading. The convention of drawing heading is one chevron in the middle of the line. The length of the line is the aircraft through airspeed. The true airspeed is the speed of the aircraft relative to the air mass in which it is flying. Now let's revisit our track. As mentioned before, the length of the track is the aircraft ground speed. Ground speed is the horizontal speed of an aircraft relative to the ground. The angle measure from track to heading line is known as wind correction angle. And the angle measure from heading to track is known as drift. Wind component. Now let's look into wind component. You plan to fly it on a track as shown by the green line. There is wind blowing from north easterly direction. The difference between track direction and wind is known as wind angle. As we learn in secondary physics, if a force acting on a body at an angle, it can be divided into components. As we can see from the diagram, the wind can be divided into crosswind component 
and headwind or tailwind component. Now let's examine the wind and its component closely. I will now change the component name into alphabet. Wind will become C. Crosswind component will become A. Headwind become B. And wind angle become theta. In this segment, I will try to define the crosswind that is A. According to trigonometry, sine theta is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. Based on the picture, sine theta equal to A over C. Let me arrange the formula. A equal to C times sine theta. Thus, crosswind component equal to wind speed times sine wind angle. Now let's define the headwind component, B. According to trigonometry, cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Based on the picture, cos theta is equal to B over C. I will rearrange the formula. B equal to C times cos theta. Thus, head or tailwind component equal to wind speed time crosswind angle the wind component formula crosswind is equal to sine wind angle time wind speed for headwind equal to crosswind angle time wind speed note if wind direction is more than plus minus 90 degree from track or runway heading headwind become tailwind wind angle is equal to track minus wind direction now let's do into several sample exam question for the first question given through a speed 140 knot through heading 302 degree wind velocity 045 45 knot calculate the drift angle and ground speed first we need to rearrange the data given based on wind triangle wind velocity track ground speed heading and through a speed Given through a speed 140 knot, heading 302, wind 04545, find ground speed and drift. Now we need to use flight computer. The first step that you need to do is to turn the outer disc until wind direction align with the top index. The second step we need to mark the wind speed. Since we were given heading instead of track, the wind speed need to be marked below the center marker. The wind speed given is 45 knots, so we need to mark 45 knots below the center marker. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45. The third step, you need to rotate the disc until the heading given align with the top index. The fourth step, you need to place through speed. But where should we place the through speed? Since we were given heading, the through speed need to be placed underneath the center marker. According to wind triangle, the center portion represent heading and through speed. This portion represent wind velocity and this last part represent track and ground speed. The answer is ground speed 156 knot and drift 16 degree to the left. Based on our calculation, the answer is D. For the second question, given through speed 200 knot, track 073, wind velocity 21020 knots, calculate heading and ground speed. First, we need to rearrange given data based on the wind triangle. Wind velocity, track, ground speed, heading, through speed. Given through speed 200 knots, track 073, wind 21020 find heading and ground speed 
Now we need to use the flight computer. Turn outer disc so that the wind direction align with true index. Next, we need to mark the wind speed. Since we were given track, the wind speed need to be marked above the middle marker. We were given 20 knot wind speed. 10, 20. Next, we need to turn the outer disc so that the track given will align with true index. 073. Now I will draw the triangle of velocity on top of the flight computer. This center line, which I mark in green, is our track since we have aligned our track with the true index. And track is coupled with ground speed. From the wind mark to the center is the wind velocity, which I mark in red. And this blue line will represent heading and true airspeed. Now we need to place the true airspeed. As you can see from the diagram, the true airspeed need to be placed at the blue line that is under the wind mark. Okay, now we slide a sliding rule so that the the wind mark will be on top of 200 knots line. We can now read the answer. Ground speed 214. Wind correction angle of 4 degree to the right. Now we can calculate our heading. Heading equal to track 073 plus wind correction angle of 4 degree equal to 077. Based on our calculation, the answer is A. For the third question, for a landing on runway 23, 227 degree magnetic surface wind velocity reported by ATIS is 18030 knots. Variation is 13 east. Calculate the crosswind component. Given runway heading 227 degree magnetic, since runway direction is on ground, it is track. Wind velocity 18030. We were also been given variation of 13 degree east. Since the direction given by ATIS is in magnetic, we do not need to use variation. This question can be solved by applying the crosswind component formula. Crosswind component equal to wind speed time sine wind angle. We have the wind speed. The only thing that we need to calculate before using this formula is the wind angle. Wind angle equal to track minus wind direction equal to 227 minus 180. Now let's bring in the calculator. 227 minus 180 equal to 47. We can now calculate crosswind component. Crosswind component equal to 30 times sine 47. Calculate it on the calculator. 30 time sin 47 equal to 21.9 the nearest answer is C thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video please share it if you find it useful thank you and have a nice day